did Jesus heal everyone he found saw met no he only did what he saw the father doing and there were people who died in Israel when he was there so he didn't raise everyone from the dead I believe everyone who came to him he healed which is different from him healing everyone he saw and I think the father's heart obviously is to heal um, but we just don't know the context of everyone's situation so we don't know the context of why people are sick what's going on with their sickness I don't believe any sickness comes from God and I do totally believe that God is our healer um, now why today are is not everyone healed when we pray for them I believe because it's a complicated issue and for some people when they're looking to minister healing they're heal ministering healing out of what jesus said lay hands on the sick and see them recover some people are ministering healing out of a gift of the holy spirit gifts of healings which is only when the holy spirit gives that gift now there are some who believe that healing comes because the kingdom of god is a demonstration of god's power and therefore healing demonstrates god's power no, I believe healing is within the atonement or within what Jesus did on the cross. So not only did he die um, and we died with him, he died uh, to deal with sickness as well as to deal with our lost identity. So I do believe health, wholeness, immortality is our identity. It's our true identity. But as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So we've got to come into an agreement where we agree with the reality of what jesus has done and what god says now i believe as the church matures we won't need spiritual gifts we will be able to live in health and then ministering to people who are not in that position will probably be those who are outside of the their understanding of their acceptance in jesus so People who know their identity in Christ and they know who they are as a righteousness of God in Christ, then we live in health. We don't need we don't need healing because we live in full health and our whole body, soul, our mind, our spirit is all one in health and, and wholeness and in abundance. Um, and I think that's a process that we're all coming into as we come into agreement, as our minds are renewed, as we know the truth. So I believe the more mature we get, the less we'll be dependent on people bringing healing to us because we'll know our identity and our identity is immortality. Therefore, health is how we live. Now, I've gone through uh, various stages of this in my life from never being taught about healing and not really understanding or believing it. Um, to believing it was God's part of God's kingdom and it could be a demonstration of God's power to believing that it was within God's covenant with us in the new covenant and within what Jesus did on the cross therefore it is for every, all of us um, in that way um, and I, I totally believe that and I and I've gone through the stages of receiving healing by people laying hands on me receiving healing miraculously in meetings when I was sort of under the power of the spirit to eventually having a disease, uh, which was, they said was incurable, which um, in reality, nothing seemed to shift it. Um, I got everyone to pray for me. You know, I, I believed that I could be healed, but I didn't know that I was healed. And therefore I went through a three year process of learning about healing to come to the point where now I totally accepted that healing was my full inheritance as a child of God and i then i knew that god wanted me to live in health and after a few this few two year three year period of really researching and looking and studying it all that i came to that conclusion and eventually that healing manifested and i've never been sick since which you know is back 30 odd years ago now so i've never uh, had any sickness because i know i live in health now i've moved from health to immortality in the actually there's no death in me because i live in the newness of life i live as a new creation in christ i died with with jesus in adam and i rose with jesus in christ and now i am fully living in that new covenant abundant life and therefore i don't believe death is inevitable for anybody but you have to come into an agreement and break that agreement with death because death is for most people um, inevitable and the church almost teaches death as a promotion so you can get to heaven 
um, and leave this all this life behind well in reality i don't believe god wants us to die physically obviously we're not going to die spiritually but i think jesus talked about in john 6 about not dying and he uh, he related that to people dying with moses in the wilderness so it was definitely physical death he was talking about and he said well you don't need to die and i believe that's the reality but i think there's a lot of renewing of our minds to come into the reality of that and not being double-minded or with doubt or unbelief because that will never manifest anything now it comes out of the goodness and love unconditional love of god his grace and his mercy the more we know god in in love the easier it is to receive everything from him that we need so i believe we will move beyond spiritual gifts to live in health and those that know their identity will know health and immortality is part of that which is i think why we're not seeing as many healings today in the church as we may have done in the past because i think god is saying hey guys grow up mature you don't need these childish gifts um, you can now mature into the reality that you know who you are and you know you can live in the identity of immortality and full abundance health and life and the whole of what that brings if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much